Greetings, everybody. Chris Hislop from the Montana World Affairs Council. Welcome to GPS. This is our international security affairs webcast that digs a bit deeper into the day's news. We're joined by our partner, Mick Mulroy from the Lobo Institute. Mick is the former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for the Middle East, a retired CIA paramilitary operations officer and United States Marine. He's a national security analyst and a co-founder of Lobo Institute and a board member of the Plato Institute in Athens, Greece. Morning, Mick. How are you? Morning, Chris. Very busy weekend. With all this. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Look, a lot to talk about because I just noticed it's been over three weeks since we last spoke. But the news today on Ukraine is, of course, about leaked documents. Mick, um, in my kind of uh, unexpert scan of the news, I'm reading all kinds of things, and I'm hoping that you can help us sort this out from, you know, the leak um, originating from a bunch of gamers um, all the way up to possible false flag operations. Mick, run us through the what, so what, now what on these leaked documents. Over to you. Yeah, so Chris, it looks like right now this could be the most significant breach of uh, classified information since Edward Snowden uh, leaked thousands of them back in 2013. So although some of them are doctored uh, by the Russians, particularly the, uh, their casualty rates, for example, they do appear to be legitimate and some of them are at the highest possible classification. So why is this significant? Quite frankly, it tells our adversaries what we know. It may tell them how we know it, which could compromise our assets, including human assets, uh, which would be very troubling. It also, according to the reports in the media, talks about collecting on allies. And that can really cause, although that is done, uh, it certainly can cause diplomatic rifts. And the lastly, uh, and very specifically, it could compromise our efforts to help the Ukrainians uh, in the counteroffensive that are coming in spring. I'm sure that they'll adjust their plans, but it's never good to have this type of information out there uh, when you're planning a military uh, operation like they are. Mick, let me pick up that last point. I mean, we've been hearing about a potential Ukrainian counteroffensive for some time now, um, fully expected to come, and these documents leak key information about that possibility. Um, but to what extent does this kind of uh, make such a counteroffensive now not plausible or not possible? Or what is going through the Ukrainian military planner's mind? So I don't think it'll stop their counteroffensive. Obviously, that's something they have to do regardless. They want to take back you know, the territory in their country. Uh, they will have to adjust based on this. And of course, it does give Russians some insight in what they were intending to do, uh, which also gives them insight on what their capabilities are, at least what they think they are. So it's never good. But I do think the offensive will, will be carried out. The United States will be in support, both with intelligence uh, passage and, of course, just help with their operational planning. They're going to do this uh, counteroffensive with striker infantry vehicles, with new modern tanks. So it's going to be substantial. We just have to make sure that in the future, we do everything we can to protect our uh, sensitive information. And then, Mick, final question just on that, looking ahead and how this kind of information is protected and how and when it's leaked. What are um, uh, NATO and U.S. military planners going to do now in the future to avoid this kind of situation? So I think we're going to look at just how we handle classified information. Uh, the intelligence community has these devices very similar to like a large uh, iPad, if you will, that it holds these things electronically. If you take them out of the uh, sensitive area or the classified area, they erase themselves. Um, so there's no there's no more copies on there. This idea that we are letting people print these that are then not accountable. We don't know where they are. We don't know how many were printed. I think that's going to have to go away. We're seeing problems with that all the way from the highest level, uh, obviously down to whichever level leak this. We're also going to have to see whether we need all these people to have access to this information because that's very problematic. But we have to do better because this is this is a very troubling episode and it could compromise so many of the U.S. national security efforts. Thanks a lot, Mick. You all heard it here from Mick Mulroy from the Lobo Institute, international security and intelligence affairs expert. Mick, thanks a lot for joining us and helping us make sense out of this. You be well. See you soon. Bye-bye.